Hello, Internet. Today, I'm going to go through creating a Mandela shape with silhouette. So don't get confused. I'm not going to show you how to create this. Um, I'm going to show you how to take a Mandela like this and use a shape and cut it out so that you have a Mandela like shape. And you'll understand what I mean in a few minutes. I like to do this. I think it looks really cool. You can do it with all sorts of shapes, all sorts of stuff, letters, shapes, whatever. And it looks cool. And you could use it for coloring, whatever else. So I have a bunch of uh, mandalas that I've purchased. They're design bundles. I'll post some links to those below. I did just purchase... During the $1 deal, a set of 550 Mandela's, which I got 550 Mandela's for two bucks. That's really cool. So, anyways, start off with this, and I'm actually going to do this in the heart shape. So, I just made the heart shape with the flexa shapes. Remember, you do need a designer plus or business edition to have the flexa shapes in your program. But you can use any shape for this, really. Um, before I do all that. I'm going to go ahead and color this in red. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. And that way I can see it overlay on the heart. And I'm just going to expand that. Okay. And then I'm going to make it so that it's bigger than the heart here. And kind of position it where I want it. Kind of center it to the page and just see how that looks. Yeah, that looks good there, actually. Then you're going to want to open up your modify panel. And you're going to want to select both. And you're going to click subtract. What that's going to do is it's going to take all these little lines that you see on the Mandela. And it's going to subtract it from the heart itself. Okay. This is one way to do it. So let's go ahead and click that. And I'm going to pause it and let it do its thing. Okay. So this is what the subtract looks like after you've subtracted it. Pretty cool, huh? And you can achieve this a couple of different ways. If you like the way that this looks, you can. And then you could go in and you can actually color all these different shapes in. If you want. And make it like a really cool, um, like a really cool print and cut. Uh, which actually, now that I'm sitting here doing this, I actually might uh, take my time and go through and and do all that because I think it would look really neat. Um, some people could use this for sublimation um, and things of that nature in depending on your license type of course so don't forget to check the license type of your file before you go through and do anything like that you don't want to be uh, not adhering to whatever the license type is if something like this is allowable and if you're not sure you know you can always reach out to the designer and say hey look you know here's what I'm trying to do is this okay for me to do this with your designs because if not I won't do it but if it is you know cool um, so you can go through and do something like that which I think is kind of neat um, it can create a really cool sticker that people can use um, and it just adds like a different flair to things, I think. So it's just a lot neater. You can sit here and, and color it in and see how it looks. And I'm just going to go, I just went through and did a little bit of, of the colors so you can see how that kind of transforms itself. And with the symmetry, I think it looks really neat. Uh, you can create some pretty cool stuff. 
So that's kind of like a nice function to have. Um, with a lot of these things that you know you might not have thought of before I missed and it kind of just adds a different flair to some of the digital stuff you might be posting out there okay so you go ahead and do that so uh, another way that you can do it is you can just do subtract all. Now what that's going to do is it's actually going to leave your uppermost design okay, on the backmost design. And it, is it thinking? Yes, it is thinking. So when you go to, when that's all done, you can actually take the top off and it's going to give you the same result as the other one but it just leaves the original shape okay so same result you can also do intersect which is kind of interesting so what it'll do is it'll leave all the lines actually it'll take away all the black space and leave all the lines okay so that's a different way to look at it you can also divide I think divide is kind of cool because what it's going to do is it's going to take away all this stuff that's outside of the heart is going to go away or it's going to create it so that you can take it away rather. So now that that's done, you can take out this outside layer and it leaves you with those hard outlines in the inside. So if you want to color it like purple or something, a color that you want to stick on there, it can actually make a really cool sticker. So you see, I mean, it's connected, but for this purpose, what I'm, I'll do, so you can see how the colors would work, so I'm going to back up. I'm going to make a, a dark purple heart, and I'm going to make these lines just like a, a really light blue. It's kind of like really contrasting. Even if I did white, wouldn't work too bad, I guess. And you click on divide. Do, 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 do. It's going to leave all those white lines for a really sweet print and cut. So that's another thing you can do. Then the last thing you can do is you can use the crop function. And the crop function is very similar to the intersect function you can see it yields nothing's changed between the two panels it, it yields the same exact results okay so there you go that's a quick and easy way to do these things um, you can have you know either you're all black and you or you can just have your lines and you can use the divide function so you can keep your lines colored in there and you can actually go in and you can actually Add color to your design if that's something that you desire to do. Um, so I hope that this helped. It's a quick and easy way for you to create something different utilizing uh, pre purchased mandalas. Like I said, you can use for any shape, you can, animal shapes, basic shapes, uh, text, anything. So hopefully, this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll be doing some more Silhouette Studio tutorials so you can learn how each function of different panels works together. So please feel free to subscribe below so you can keep track of all these awesome updates and hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day.